Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 12, 11, something like that. Part 2 of this battle with the British. So this is probably going to be the big fleet battle. I mean, actually, we could get into several of them, because even if we win this pretty handily, the British have, like, a huge reserve of ships. In fact, I may not have enough ships to do another fleet battle after this. So long as we can sink enough ships to stave off the blockade, that's really what our goal is here. Um, anyways, in this... Uh, at the end of the last episode, the most recent happening in the battle, our main dreadnought battle line, which is just two battleships, or two dreadnoughts, is going is um is a dueling with a group of four British battleships. And these are not dreadnoughts, so they should have only the two gun configuration. A lot of the a lot of these it looks like are the uh, treaty restriction, which means they'd be restricted to fifteen thousand and ten inch guns. Now that's not necessarily a bad design. I I mean this sounds I don't know if this sounds crazy, but it's not a very well it's not a mature idea in my head, but um the idea has come to me that this is not actually a bad configuration for this point in time, because even though it's nineteen sixteen, we have to think that it's more like nineteen twelve because of the research tech rate. And uh, fires are still a real killer. And if you have ten, ten inch guns, which is an eight eight gun broadside. You can actually do quite a lot of damage in terms of getting a fire started. And if a fire gets started, that's definitely one way to ruin a ship. Maybe our fire con or maybe our damage control stuff has advanced far enough that that's not going to be the case, but... Anyway, technically our mission is to intercept the transports, but in reality, I don't really care about that. If we happen to do it, that's great. It's icing on the cake, but main effect and the main points for this is going to come down to whether or not we win the fight. So it's this is might as well just be a fleet battle. Now, um, oh god. <laughs> can I restart? Can I go, can I load the save game? Uh, Camion's bridge has now been destroyed, which means her effectiveness will be, I think it's like halved. It's like pretty bad. The only good news is before she so, her bridge so, you know, just exploded, she did get off a good hit with her 14 inch guns. Now you are a, no, you're 10 inch guns. Damn it, anyhow. Well, you have to say, uh, this is, by the way, a bridge hit, not a conning tower penetration. So what this means is, and this is why I have decided not to really care about conning tower armor. Um, so there's two, you can get a CT conning tower hit, um, but that, and that's different than a superstructure hit. But a bridge hit is like the exposed part of the bridge. I mean, it's the bridge. It's not inside the armored protected conning tower, which um, a lot of captains didn't even use. So this is like a hit that you cannot avoid. Conning tower armor does not protect you. And it means that the firm, uh, Camion is going to be very ineffective at her everything from here on in. Uh, that might not be the... I mean, that might be, but it might not mean we have to pull off the line quite yet, but oh, there's a compelling case to be made that we should. Bring these guys to line ahead. In fact, let's just get them to at least 20. Yeah, these guys should be, well, let's get them squad max. Let's just get you guys moving into position. And their battle line actually pulled off, which is interesting. That might be good timing because we do want to get our battleship line, our other battleships, into the fight, which will be Battleship to battleship superior to the um, to the British battleships, but not to their dreadnoughts. Now I'm not exactly sure why they call this a battleship. I I didn't think about this, but this, in my opinion, should be classed as a dreadnought. Do they have any classification of a dreadnought? So this is I mean this is this is practically the HMS dreadnought. The only difference being that this is 10 inch guns and not... Did the Dreadnought have 12 inch guns? I want to say 12 inch guns. But it might have been bigger than that. It might have been 14. I think it was 12 inch guns. Anywho, we'll just keep fighting the food, the good fight here. They turn away. Uh, I guess the one thing we could do is slow down to 16 knots. Nah, you know, tw I mean, we don't need to go to 23, but keeping a, a good speed does make you, uh, you know, you're less likely to hit. And you notice now that the Camion is no longer hitting ships at all. 
to kind of confirm that, let's see what the Camion had been doing prior to that. Okay, it had the one hit that we talked about. Camion had actually been hit several times before that, but she was hitting with six inch guns. In general, Camion was being picked on and in general, it looks like the Fjertin was the one doing most of the hitting. No, well, I guess that's not true. Here's another hit. I don't know, tough, 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 tough. So unfortunately our destroyers aren't gonna get an opportunity to go in and do their suicide charge, at least not yet. I feel like we're kinda like dolphins hurting a swarm of fish, or school of fish. I guess that's the word for it. What is the benefit? So what is our, our end goal here? You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna drag, so we have the wind disadvantage here. I was gonna drag my battleships, my dreadnoughts back southwest. Um, by the way, there's a way to bring up the compass. It's kind of cool to, yeah, show the compass. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, it doesn't help. Uh, I'm gonna eliminate that again. Uh, it would be helpful if it had, I mean, it's not, we all know north is pointing, you know, it's, it's clear which way north is, but if it had all the, the letters, I would, <laughs> I know which way west and east is, but sometimes I can't say the direction I mean, if that makes sense. So I was going to drag her back, this, um, the division back to the southwest, but if we do that, we're going to be continuing to operate down or um, upwind, which is not what we want. It is calm, though, so it's not like a big deal. So it's not going to play a big role. Um, I'm sure that our ship speed is having a much bigger impact about where the, the smoke from the guns goes. And this is the perfect example. So a conning tower... Our, the Fjurkton's, <laughs> poor Fjurkton. <laughs> Maybe this doesn't count as a bridge hit, uh, conning tower destruction or whatever, because the Fjurkton's already been. Oh wait, no, the Camion. Oh wow, we got this is. By the way, these these hits are rare. I say that, and then this is what happens: two such hits in the same battle. But this is perfect. This shows us that hey, bridge hit, can't do anything about it. Bridge destroyed. However, conning tower which is only seven and a half inches of armor. It's, it's very, very small amount of armor. Is still enough to survive a hit from a heavy gun. Now, when they say heavy gun, in this case, we're, ten, we're talking about, what? We're talking about 12 inch guns. Okay, yeah, this is actually significant. Now they're old 12 inch guns, so you know we're not expecting them to have a, a great deal of penetration, but it's still something. Now, the interesting thing is that they are retreating, but their transports are turning towards us. I am not at all sure what to make of this, and I suspect that that means that they will be riding back out towards us. All right, another 14 inch hit, this one on the Victorious, and it looks like we popped her front turret. Just destroyed it. Um, okay, well, we're gonna continue to fight with the Camion and the Fjurkton, but hopefully they will soon be joined by their slower battleship compadres. Light cruisers here are just going to be screening, pushing back the British destroyers. So the battle formation here isn't too bad. I'm going to look for opportunities to send in my destroyers. This is a mess. What in God's name are those transports doing? I mean, we can roleplay this a lot of different ways. A lot of different funny scenarios come to my mind, like the transport. He was a, a young child. He always dreamed of being a battleship captain, but you know, the birthright, his poor status in life, being a poor, born into a poor family, he had no such uh, ability to become an officer. And now he has an opportunity to lead his merchant ship to the front of the British Navy, and he does so. All right, so at least our, our uh, secondaries, our six-inch guns are being effective, and that is on the Camion, who has lost her bridge. So, uh, fire control, I think, is still impacted by the bridge being destroyed. I think there's other, other things, like, I thought it was supposed to be that you're maneuvering the turn. I mean, honestly, that would be kind of a cool effect if they did add it. Have orders not followed as quickly. Although, I guess I'm on the bridge. In theory, my uh, this is my flag division. And that Camion, I suppose, is my flagship. So, I'm now dead. <laughs> but... Thankfully for us in this game, the personas aren't really, they don't really matter. And obviously this has been a complaint of mine throughout the, the development cycle of World of Waves 1 and 2 that there's such a weird disconnect from being the Secretary of the Navy 
on the strategic map and then the admiral because you don't have that step in between where you would be doing things such as coordinating which ships are going where who who is who belongs to what division like the british separated their fleets they had um the mediterranean fleet the home fleet all these so you knew who was riding together now the transport ships looks like they've thought better of their original idea we might have an opportunity to go against the British ships here. Ooh, came on. But held up. Belt didn't penetrate. And turret didn't penetrate. So our... Uh, now part of this is armor thickness, which is pretty thick. So this is a good amount. But also part of it is um, the newness of the armor. The better armor quality itself. So, you know, if you had like uh, iron, if you had 12 inches of iron, that would be much less effective than 12 inches of steel. And then there's different steel varieties. So, much ado about nothing, talking about all this. We need something to talk about while our ships slowly engage. So, okay, Fjurkton taking another hit. Again, not penetrating, though. We landed a hit on their destroyer, which is getting pretty close, so, yeah, it is time. It is proper time to push these guys back. And more six-inch hits on their battleships. Now, is this the... So, th this is something I didn't really analyze until now. I believe the only battleships that they have are these four, which means we really want to push with our dreadnoughts, really wear these guys down as much as possible. Oh god, we have we definitely have a shot here. I'm going to push them just directly towards the British fleet at this point. It's good to squad max with my light cruisers. Um, let's have the destroyers step up their speed. Maybe cut some of these guys back so that we're in better position for the the old hammer and anvil tactic. All right, well, it looks like our armored cruisers are finally finding their range, which is nice. Oh man, it's looking good. Hold your fire until you see the whites of the rise. Oh, look at that. Just in time, they turned away. So the AI knows exactly your torpedo range. And they know when you could be launching torpedoes. That, I feel, was just a more general maneuver on their part. The AI, by the way, it'd be really interesting to see how the AI is coded in this. We get a sense for it. You know, they have a I'm being flanked type personality going on here, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, I think actually the tactical AI is very good. I would describe it as very good. There was an interesting um, video I was watching about AI and how this one person programmed an AI and people learned how to beat it, which is not too surprising. But after all that, when he he told them to play against this AI and they thought it was a human player, they lost to it. Isn't that kind of telltale? You know, you learn exactly how to, and I have learned exactly how to like manipulate this AI. If I was fighting a human, I would not be doing any of these tactics, and I probably wouldn't be nearly as successful against the same AI. Interesting little feedback. Alright, well at least we're landing the hits, I like to see that. Even if, yeah, what? So this is good hammer and anvil type thing. So yeah, we are a dolphin, we are a, a, a herd, a school of dolphins, hunting a... Oh, they're, they're, they're going for it! Now, I talked about not them not having anything, any other battleships, but these are still like precious targets for us. Okay, we're up to squad max. We're up to squad max. We need to push in a little bit harder. Armor cruisers are doing their thing. Battleships are actually getting close, too. This is great, and they are targeting these. We need you guys more over here if you can swing it. Okay, Goliath has been hit, which is fantastic. Still landing little bits. Little. Hey, if any one of these can like knock out an engine... Heck, if, they're, if we're destroying their bridges, hopefully. All those little things should have an impact. Oh, yeah. this. So we, we at least have sank one British ship so far. That's the, the least we can say. Now, this Goliath, speaking of, has just taken another. In a barrage, we actually landed two. The Fjurkton landed two of our 14-inch shells. But wasn't this the... No, it was the Fjurkton. Yeah, and we've seen that, you know, the Camion is essentially not really contributing at this point. Not really landing any hits. Those are destroyers right there. 
but be careful. But I think we're well outside of torpedo range. Okay, th this is this is happening right here. They're coming for our light cruisers, which we will pull back, and we'll let our our heavy cru our armored cruisers, I should say, and our armored cruisers, I mean our battleships, take the fight to them. And in fact, we could. I think we're in position, and we're gonna we're gonna make a a, a hard decision here. This is. You know, there's these little critical strategic moments where you decide to do something. And, and I'm making one of them right here. I'm going to curl my dreadnoughts in to pinch off these armored cruisers altogether. So we're going to give the, uh, the typical Tortuga order to close in and kill. Basically, at this point, everyone's going to go to squad max. Everyone just speed is the prime concern. Get everything happening as quickly as possible. Okay, so here we go. Things are going to start to happen a lot quicker now. She's still being destroyed. She's already dead. Camion took another hit. Furkton took a hit. Didn't penetrate. Uh, Lembert took a hit. Their turret is destroyed. But hopefully we get them off the line. In fact, what I'd like to do is have them maybe even launch torpedoes. I don't think we're in position to do so. I frankly don't. Devonshire, this Devonshire is what we're looking for. Wrong one. Oh wow, we do have, we actually do have an angle on this. Let's see if the Mozart does. Could get lucky. Wrong one again. No, out of arc, which is expected. Now how fast are these? 25 knots, so we're not gonna be able to outrun them. They are turning, so we should have a small speed advantage. All right, you guys need to go up to squad max and you will be, we're gonna have them make a run momentarily. Okay, Lemberg, wow, oof. Brutal times to be a Lemberg right now. Actually, we... <clears throat> Excuse me, I better take a drink. It doesn't look like we're having much success of anything. And their destroyers are coming in. This is kind of bizarre for them, their destroyers, to be charging my light cruisers. But I also would be doing the same. I generally just don't care. Oh, we have a little, a little standoff here between the Victorious. Missing her forward turret and still charging headlong into the fight. So this is going to be an interesting... This will force me now to make a decision about whether I curl in or out. I'm going to curl in. Oh, gosh. There's so many destroyers that way, though. Okay, no. I'm going to curl out, and the destroyers are going to come in. It's their time. It is time. Oh, gosh. We um, overshot over here. We'll curl back in. All right, Victorious is it being hit. That's good. Just a single battleship sinking a single battleship would be wonderful. Ah, we'll let you guys come in. Do that. Squad Max. Okay, this is my worst off destroyer or cruisers, which you know really aren't that much worse off. They're all pretty good. Minstrel. Yeah. Okay. So we'll continue to attack the Victorious here. I think we curl in. Dobrovit Dubrovnik has taken a torpedo flats hit. Did it destroy her torpedo? Yeah, it did. Wait. Oh, okay, just torpedo tubes hit. Um, what side was that? Ah, the port side. Okay, fantastic. We don't need that one right now anyway. Hold your torpedo fire though, please. Not until we uh, close in with the enemy. We're making our run. This is brutal. I don't know what exactly is going to happen here. So this one's dead. But I'm going to have to curl you in even. I'm a little worried about torpedoes. Are we launching torpedoes? Don't launch your... No, don't do that. Don't fire. Don't fire yet. We're going to have better targets in a moment. Okay, Victorious is getting blasted here, which is fantastic. She's in a bad way, and hopefully soon we'll be in a worse way as our destroyers have a chance to make a run on them. And if not, they also have a chance at the Kent here. The bloody Kent. Ah, this, this didn't work out well, did it? I think we have to run with them at this point. Try to keep pointing our nose so we don't take a torpedo. 
Revenix to launch in torpedoes. I almost told you not to, but I didn't because I thought you wouldn't be stupid, but turns out you are. Alright, so what do we have going on here? Yeah, the Admiral Spawn actually has to cut back. We now have to chase her, her stern so that we don't eat a torpedo. And this is tense. This is pretty tense. I need to count how many destroyers we have south of us. You know, there are destroyers, but there are a lot of juicy targets. I think we're going to make a command decision to turn south. Um, Victorious is still taking hits. Uh, mostly from the Furkton. Darn you, Camion. Why can't you land a hit? Ah, yeah, you, done, you did. You landed one. Hooray! Is she on fire? Okay. See the red and yellow is... It's just from the markers, the lines being drawn, not from a fire itself. Uh, this is, like, very bad for our destroyers. I, I think our best bet would be to pull away, but a lot of the times you don't get a second chance. You get damaged anyway, and then it's like, well, why didn't I just commit? We're at least giving them something to think about. So I might leave them in just as something to overlo overload the commander, the enemy commander. Now, as far as these guys go... So we're going to have to run them back in this way. Yeah, the, um, the AI has done a pretty good job shielding themselves. And putting them in... Oops. Oh, well, that happens sometimes, doesn't it? Let's see if you can launch any torpedoes on your way out. Actually, yes. Not a bad torpedo. Let's see what else we have. Huh, it's an interesting one, too. Are you... you're launching torpedoes, I hope. First of all, let's go ahead and commit to the, the whole torpedo launching affair. And now let's consider your options. Yeah, you could actually launch at the Victorious. I... I might do that. I'd rather launch at the, like, honestly, the Implacable. No solution there. I'm not... As convinced, that could end up hitting our own ships. Again, that's one that could end up hitting our own. Although, we will be curling back further west. And that's the Kent, huh? Yeah, I'm going to launch that. Because that is the best chance of missing somebody and hitting someone else. So, we basically fired at the middle of the armored cruiser's of the British line over there. Um, Ariel has been pummeled. I'm sorry. She's been ursula -ed. You guys can curl back in. I think you're, uh, yeah. The tense moment is over. Still gonna chase her stern just so I don't eat a torpedo in the last moments of her life. Okay, uh, yeah, this is happening. Th things are happening pretty rapidly now, very quickly. Victorious is actually swinging back towards us. Okay, we hit her. Nubian is being hit. Good. I mean, we need to take out these these destroyers. Ariel has been... Is this the same Ariel? Is she dead? She is not. Now, this one is not dead either. Now, these only have one torpedo. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a very strange design. I'm going to make some maneuvers here, though. Turn together, line abreast, and you guys are going to curl into the destroyer to try to save us. You guys will curl back, and you guys are already curling away. Curl. Curl's my favorite word. Okay, that worked. Now we need to curl the other way, though. Turn, probably better. Oh, the Devonshire is getting hit! Hooray! And I haven't been, like, micromanaging the torpedo launching, but hopefully people are just launching torpedoes, except for you guys. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. It's a bloody mess. Okay, Nubian is being hit. It's not the one that's already sinking. Ariel. Let me try to save my destroyers. I know this is bizarre, but we, we actually need to save my destroyers as much as possible. I'm going to pull them off from this. It's like we got so close, but I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up. It was good harassment. It, it served its purpose, honestly. In fact, what I can do, maybe it'd be even better if I just attach... The lead have the 
the second ship continue on her path. Well, maybe not continue exactly, but go back up to 29 SS. You just pull off the line. Um, we will have you launch torpedoes then, since uh, you're not going to have much of a chance to do anything else. Oh, you've already expended? Oh, we have a high. Yeah, that, that seems fine to me. Oh, yeah, we can launch at the... Let's launch at the transports. Eh, you know, it's, a, it's just a crapshoot. We're launching in that general direction. That's all we're going to do. So launch torpedoes in your final moments with the battle fleet, and then hopefully return to safety. Now, the Victorious is still, in my opinion, worth the risk of risking these uh, destroyers. And, you know, we know me. It doesn't take much of a risk for it to be worth it. Poor destroyers. DDLM, as they say. <laughs> Destroyer Live Matters. Destroyers. Destroyer Lives Matter. They don't. But I would never say that to my fleet. This is a, clearly a miscommunication. I don't know what you're talking about. But because things are not going very well, and this is like one destroyer in a sea of enemies, I am looking at the opportunity of launching, yes. Just that looks like, I don't care. I see the torpedo trajectory. That's what I want to see. That Fire torpedoes that way. Perfect. Go ahead and start launching your torpedoes at anything you see. Actually, no. Don't, because we, you're so close to the, to the main armored cruiser line. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we really have a chance here. I think we really have a chance to make a to make a big dent in their fleet. Okay, Hamel, do you can you launch torpedoes? A lot of ships, Devonshire. This one? Good. Launch. I think she's gonna curl or you know, turn further south. Yeah, just like just like that. All right, let's see what's happening. Okay, with this drill pitcher has been hit by the Kent turret destroyed. That's we're absorbing some damage with our light cruisers. Not ideal. Um. Okay, so the second in line is now also gravely wounded. <laughs> so we'll have her fire torpedoes as well. Yeah, just go ahead and launch it. Whatever you can launch at, and then pull off the line. Can these guys do, uh, let's do some smoke. Accumulated smoke is, is my friend. Maybe. For now. Okay, turn. Oh, this is it. Yep, this is your run. Do not launch any more torpedoes, because we're going to have you make a, a, a perfect run. She turned north. Okay, we have to box, continue to try to box out the, the Victorious. All right, this is it. Head on. Nubian, Nubian. Um, our battleship is just, is avoiding torpedoes. That is fantastic. I mean, look at dangerous that she's avoiding torpedoes, but hooray that we managed to get out of it. That's what I would say. Oh, you only have two torpedoes. I guess port side is expended. Okay. That doesn't, doesn't look right at all. <laughs> I don't think that's where they're going to go. I'm going to hold off on that torpedo launching. We, in fact, kind of have to turn away as well, just because we're about to get torpedoed probably ourselves. All right, so this is, this is a lot of crap going on. So it would be good to continue to sink their destroyers, just the same way I'm sure they're saying the same thing about mine. Yeah, they finally noticed us. Oh yes, this is it. This is it. What? <sighs> what? What? Okay, launch torpedoes. Just I, I have to trust that she's gonna do it on her own. I this is just mad. This is maddening. How, uh, just <sighs> okay, whirlwind. I got you into this perfect position and now you refuse to launch torpedoes? You actually didn't launch torpedoes, do you? You actually didn't. You can't even launch them again. What is wrong with this world? 
This is what I hate about the game. What this stupid bug? How is this bug still in the game? Like eight years after development. I'm trying to like see. I'm trying to check. Okay, she's launching torpedoes, by the way. But she didn't get hit. Why is it that her um, torpedoes, her torpedo screen is not populating? I, I don't know. I wish I knew. It's a mystery. It's very unfortunate. Okay, we gotta launch some torpedoes here. This has just gotta happen. Oh my gosh, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Struvalpater uh, <laughs> is, is trying to return fire for all the damage they just inflicted on her, and the only way to know she knows how, which is we can definitely hit him with some torpedoes. Oh, this looks good this looks very good this looks very good you probably have spent all your torpedoes yep so you guys just continue to get out of here now in fact bring back in the lemberg who's probably in good enough shape to, to, to continue the fight and this is the moment we've been waiting for as far as launching our torpedoes so now this is a, oh you out of arc what you out of arc me Look at all these destroyers are almost dead. <laughs> That's alright, will, we will get them to safety. Or try to. Okay, this is it. This is our moment. And looks like you're on fire. Well, are you deploying smoke? I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, we're gonna land the first torpedo hit, so and that's that's wonderful. You're launching torpedoes, it's fine. A lot of destroyers chasing. Our armored cruisers are clear, let's have them move back in. No! It must have been a dud. We I mean there were two and now there's only one, so one was hit, just it didn't count? Oh, brother. Okay, we'll get the Admiral spawn in here, get the Lember, get everyone, get everyone over here. ASAP. We have more torpedoes to launch. And this Whirlwind, despite not being able to launch torpedoes because she's stupid, still stupid, has at least done this, done us the service of pushing their armored cruisers out of position. Oh my gosh, what an opportunity. Wow. I mean, this is truly an opportunity and definitely turn off that. We missed, but oh, you you just, you have the shot of a lifetime. You have a shot of a lifetime. You just can't, you can't miss from that range. Okay, she's gonna take a hit and then our other battleships are gonna follow up immediately. Man, this would have been such a perfect opportunity, too. Diadem. Is the one closest? Yeah, out of arc. Huh, okay. Well, how do we handle this? I think we're actually just handling it quite all right, as is. This is the one. I mean, this is if this doesn't happen, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. It happened! Oh my god! Gosh, it happened, it happened. At last, at last, at last. Okay, good. Pull out. This is it. This is all we needed. Just sink the battleship, do our damage, and pull away. Yeah, this is no good. In fact, I'm going to be so severe about this. We're going to go to turn together, line abreast, and I'm going to give the order to retreat. Whirlwind, your new job is to actually screen. I, you're just, you're a little hero, Whirlwind, despite the, the terrible side of things that you somehow don't know how to launch your own torpedoes. Anyway, yeah, go ahead and launch your torpedoes because, well, you know what? Don't launch your torpedoes anymore. But that is, the, I mean, this is a dead ship. 15,000 tons, not even 15,000 tons, two torpedoes this early on, had already taken a lot of damage. Um, she's a goner. I'm not, I would prefer not to even shoot her anymore, but ships are going to shoot.
So we'll wait for them to, eventually they'll report being sunk, I'm sure. In the meantime, wow, they are super aggressive. I did not expect that. I'm, I'm actually happy to see that because they're kind of further cutting themselves off. Bring my armored cruisers in and bring my dreadnoughts north. Oh yeah, we're, we're tightening the noose. Okay, we're gonna have to turn away and then go back and swing all the way around. It's gonna be a mess, but that's fine. Yeah, good. So they won't be able to get close enough with our turn away maneuver, which makes me very happy. I'm sure that she's, yeah, she's already sunk. Now, if we can get anyone to survive, that would be wonderful. Um, this is just crazy. This is crazy. What, where, by the way, what are we doing? Oh my gosh. I forgot to turn this off. Return. <laughs> so do something like this. Okay. Here we go, by the way. Here, we're just doing this. It's about to be a full-on showdown between the Devonshire and my armored cruisers. Unfortunately, they also have some destroyers lingering. These destroyers only have one torpedo, so I have to say I'm not like not feeling horribly threatened by them. Still, nonetheless, it's something to consider. Okay, Victorious is getting more sunk. Ah, landing a hit on the Goliath, and she's on fire. She's on fire. That's that's really good. Okay, we're going to land probably a lot of hits against this one. Same deal. I mean, they're doing the same thing I'm doing, right? Sending in their ships aggressively. Sure. This is the one with 6-inch guns? No, this one has 10-inch guns. Yeah, this is this is kind of a cool ship. 4 10-inch guns, 8 8-inch eight guns. I I don't think it's necessarily like a great design, but I I like the I like the innovation. Something new. Arch 2 6 this. I think she might have an opportunity. I First of all, I thought that Hmm. There are friendly ships in, literally in the line of fire, but going completely out of the way. Turns out we don't have a solution anyway. Um, so what I wanted to do with this turn at the line ahead thing is if we can get them to turn south. We do want the Archduke Sixtus to turn south. And then that'll line up a torpedo shot, maybe on the Kent. I guess what I could do is return to line of breast, turn together, and I can force her to do this myself. You know, not not the way I wanted to do it, but it, this is should be another way of getting the same thing done. All right, and we want my light cruisers to continue to move in while my dreadnoughts continue north. And you guys just get out of there. Okay, we're yeah, that one's already dead. Turret destroyed, that's why she no longer has ammo, because she just lost a turret with her ammunition. Turns out, if you only have one gun and it gets destroyed, you don't have any ammunition left. Well, that's one way of looking at it, I guess. I would have rather have talked about the fact that you don't have a gun to shoot anyway. Otherwise, I guess this was a pretty ho-hum minute. All right, now we can probably start lining up our torpedoes against her. I like that torpedo launch. Hmm, okay. Well, I what I still think I still like the look of this. We're going to have to turn into the destroyer. Okay, O'Donnell's avoiding torpedoes. Yeah, okay. Well, that, look, at you, you got to say, it'd be very, very difficult for them to hit the stern of my ship. <laughs> so that's not something I'm too concerned with. I, I mean, it could happen. These only have one torpedo? No, these have four. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're expecting the full launch, full spread. But yeah, they're, they're launching at the stern of a ship. It's... the Exactly the worst angle. Let's get you guys to stop firing just for 10 minutes um, because I want you to save your your fight because I think you'll be firing at the wrong people. Wait, are you? Okay, no, never mind. Take that back because you don't seem to be engaging the Victorious with your main guns. Yeah, these are the six inch guns. That's okay. As long as the main guns are, you know, going down range, trying to be more effective. All right, 
get you guys. Oh, there are there they are though. We gotta do. We gotta take a take a chance. I don't know why. Do you see that? Do you see how they don't turn? Okay, so you taking a hit. You turn off. Cut speed. Flooding is two nineteen. Not not looking good. I don't think that these have. I don't think that they have. Uh, Torpedo protection. Hopefully we've been launching torpedoes ourselves. Friends Ferdinand, you might be in a good position to do so. And you take your eye off the battle for one moment. <laughs> and this is what happens. Uh, yeah, actually that's fine. We don't want to trade ships. We want to just defeat them, right? Don't, that's not good enough. But I feel like I'm bidding, I'm just not spending enough time looking through every ship, figuring out the optimal strategy at all points in time. This is just bizarre to me. I just don't like the fact that these ships are, they have like obviously some like collision avoidance or like, or they repel each other. There's a repelling force. At least this very weird behavior where you can't get your destroyer to make the turn. Do you see that? It's still happening. All right, let's see what happened. This is getting blasted. Friends Ferdinand's getting blasted. But honestly, not only one of those hits penetrated. Hitting the aerial, that'll that'll end up being a hit. A real hit. Gonna have the U-turn north though, because and let's go back to you know. We didn't go to line of breast anyway, I guess. Okay, so uh, we, we so they're off this way. We need you to turn northwest then. West, northwest. Go back up. Go up to squad max now. Speed is everything. Okay. Wow. It is a mess of ships. Okay. The, the, still good. I mean, their destroyers are making their run, but obviously at this point we've evaded their range. Okay, you're dead, I think. But who's launching? Is that a torpedo launched? What happened here? Down to 190, so she might live. We'll peel away. Hopefully our dreadnoughts can come in and do some damage. Like Blundenberg, where? What group are you part of? My goodness. <laughs> You're not even making the turn with her. All right, let's detach you because essentially at this point we're going to have to operate these as different destroyers anyway. Your goal is to get to the diadem if you can get there. If not, you know, well that, that happens. You're going to go after these two, though. If you can. Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. Okay. Now, I don't know who... <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. We have no torpedoes left anyway. Okay, so, um, just turn north. It'll cause havoc even just turning north, and you should just exactly continue to pursue those other armored cruisers. We're kind of out of harm's way here. You can see that a bunch of these destroy. I mean, it's kind of funny. We're just mowing them down. This is almost like an action game where you're just slaughtering somebody with a shotgun. Yeah, we want to pursue these. We definitely want to pursue these, though. That's who I want. So you, oh, you're the one on turn together, line of head, or line of breast. All right, get that to change. Turn. And one other... Light cruiser, yeah, right here. This group. We just need to prevent the Kent. What a that that stupid Kent from coming back back down to the south. Okay, good, I think, to turn. Alright, Apollo class taking some hits here. Not really my top priority, not the top concern.
Oh yeah, okay, so destroyer lines are still not gone yet, so we yeah, we uh, I think I'm gonna have to risk it. Yeah, this one's a goner, I would say. Okay, we are pushing these guys up away from everyone else. By the way, do you, you guys have torpedoes? I'm gonna send them back in, turns out. You have one torpedo. Well, look, if you have any of your torpedoes that can, no, that's right. This game is just maddening sometimes. It, I, I think that you can find reasons to be upset about any game, but I just, you know, there's little things that have been around in the game for a very long time that don't ever get fixed. Because there's only one developer to work on it. I get it. One day maybe I will make a game and I will I will be the on the receiving end of such complaints. Archduke Sixtus. That is a surprise. From the Apollo? I think it has to be. She And she took that one in a bad way, I guess. She, almost no way to save her. So we will have losses, that's for sure. Definitely gonna have some losses in this one. All right, otherwise, still taking out these destroyers, taking out those destroyers, all good. Good stuff to do. Okay, yeah, and I um, mean, just and if this is your first time watching Roll the Waves, your first series watching it with me playing at least, I am extremely aggressive with my ships. Very, very, very aggressive. Um, I do trade favorably, and that's why I do this because I know with my ultra aggression, I can generally pick up like two to one or better um, odds. So I, I may lose more ships doing it this way, but I will definitely sink a lot more ships, proportionally more ships by doing it this way. If I played pretty conservative, I think I could get something like, maybe I'd sink a couple of their ships and not lose any of mine. But there might be just, it might only be destroyers. It might be like one light cruiser, one, maybe if I got lucky, you know, you gotta have like a lucky hit to stop the engines of an enemy ship or something like that. Uh, then yeah, you might, get a battleship or cruiser or something like that. But I generally play much more aggressive because I know that I will be able to outmaneuver the AI. So I think we'll leave this one here and right in the middle of it. How many more episodes will this go? I suspect this is the, I think the next episode, the battle will come to an end. I kind of just want, if we can get you to survive and it looks like you might, um, I'll be happy claiming a battleship, and maybe if I can kill off even one of these armored cruisers, that would be that would be most welcome. We'll see how it goes, though. So I'll catch you back for the next. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care.